What's going on ladies and gents, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, here, and in today's The Division video, I wanted to bring something to my channel that I have never showcased before. For my loyal subs, you know my channel as an informative The Division Center channel, where I do my best to bring you videos aimed at keeping you up to date and well informed on all things The Division. So, in this video, I am totally shifting gears and bringing you some live gameplay in the Dark Zone and would like to know your opinions as to what is happening. Up on the screen is my current DZ build centered around a lightweight M4 Alpha Bridge gear set with a DPS of around 388k and a toughness of over 416k. What can't be seen is my survivability stats with an armor mitigation of 54% and an enemy armor damage of 47%. I also wanted to post my internet connection test results so nobody can say in the comment section below that it is my crummy internet or that I am lagging. I pay extra to have the best internet connection, and this is close to the best that Comcast offers in my area, excluding business class internet. I know that I live in close proximity to several major Comcast hubs, so it isn't like I'm in the middle of nowhere with dial-up internet. Anyways, I wanted to bring you this short video to ask what you thought about these rogue encounters and to ask your opinions to the pressing question, hacks or no hacks? Now, I have played many online FPS games in the past and know firsthand what a DDoS attack looks and feels like in the Trials of Osiris on Destiny, and have also been the victim of lag switching several times. I've also read that players have been able to connect their PCs to the PS4 and manipulate codes within the game to allow for extra damage, exceptional loot drops, etc. I will let you be the judge. Let's begin. In this first encounter, me and my squad mate and PS4 friend, shout out, Dark Angel have both spawned in at the DZ safe house and know there are rogues literally just outside. You can't hear the end game audio, but we have already planned that I will pop my damage alt once we encounter them to end this quickly. Dark Angel runs a DZ setup similar to mine with damage figures and toughness ratings well within specs to absolutely fry rogues in the DZ. I will let the video play through in real time so you can see what we did, and then I will bring it back in slow-mo so you can see it again. Okay, now that you've seen it in real time, I will bring it back at half speed and then super slow-mo so you can see exactly what happened. Dark Angel and I decide to focus fire on this single agent, and as I have said, you know what kind of firepower we are both bringing to the encounter. I popped my damage alt as we have discussed, and it looks like we are melting this particular agent as we should. I mean, we are both in excess of 350k in DPS, and I have just hit my damage alt to give us even more damage. Just when it looks like this rogue is done for and dropping onto his knees, his health shoots back up and he does what I can only describe as a teleport to my left into cover. Now I have played enough Division to know just how fast agents and NPCs move and I have never seen anybody roll that quickly all while popping a medkit? I know it's tough to see so I will bring it back in slow-mo so you can see just how fast this agent disappears off my screen and to the left. Once again, we both thought this one was done for, and it looks like he was dropping down, but instead this agent takes every last bullet we can dish out with a damage alt, fires back at us, somehow avoids dropping into the last stand position, pops a med kit while performing what can only be described as a teleport to the left, and ends up at close to half health before his squad mates appear and finishes off. This is the second and final encounter I wanted you to see, and this is from the same session as the previous clip just about an hour later and on a different Dark Zone server. As you can see, we are chasing a group up out of DZ1 that has gone full manhunt. They are attempting to aggro every last group of NPCs to slow our advance. Now what I want you to concentrate on is how twice when we are starting to close the gap, our agents are dropped out of their sprints into a jog, all while the manhunt rogues continue to sprint and put distance between us. I am sorry I don't have the audio files for you, but my entire squad starts speaking simultaneously about how we can't sprint. It's almost like we have been hit with a status effect, but as you can see, there is nothing going on around us. Again, like the teleport in clip 1, very confusing how this can happen and more than just a bit suspicious as it only started happening when we were in hot pursuit of the manhunt rogues. 
As always, I would love to hear what you thought about my hacks or no hacks division video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division content in your life, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. If you are looking for answers about any weapon in the division, look no further than my weapon review video series, as it really is the most comprehensive and accurate division weapon review playlist on YouTube. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.